All right, well, I want y'all to know this brother here is from Houston, Texas. Give it up for one, B. Laurel. Give him a round of applause, y'all. All right, making sure I said it right. One, one. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> New York, man, this is the shit, dude. Thank y'all for having us here, man, and letting us do this. And you know, y'all set the whole world an example. Redbone was talking about the terrorism shit, and you know some people are getting mad and, and like, because we're profiling against terrorists. You, you can do that, fuckers, that's all right. I mean, look, I travel a whole lot. They used to profile black people and Mexicans all the time. It's their turn, fuckers. It's their turn. Right now, black people and Mexicans and white people, we see each other at the airport. We're like, what's up? What's up, fucker? What's up? What's up? That's the way it was the first time when I flew back. When I flew back from Miami after September 11th, I flew back and I saw a Pakistani fucker on a plane. That's the first time I ever saw one. See, in my neighborhood in Houston, they own all the little stores. They own all the fucking convenience stores, dude. So they like run the whole neighborhood. But I still fuck with them. I go in there, what's up, fucker? You're the bad guys. <laughs> nah, bitch, you're the bad guys. Shut up, it's your turn, bitch. You gotta take it like a man, it's your turn. <laughs> He's trying to explain shit. Just because a few people in my country fuck up, that means, that means they fucked it up for all of you, bitch. <laughs> all you motherfuckers are bad, all of you. It's your turn. What do you want? Like, here, fucker, give me five or number two, bitch. I can't believe it. <laughs> Got to get my gas on. So look, man, the first time that I flew back from fucking Miami, and then they had a, a Pakistani on a plane, I was a little afraid. And I thought he was Mexican at first, because they look Mexican. You know what I mean? I'm looking at him, all right, that's a Mexican. And then, and then I smelled that underarm, like, ooh. Oh, hell no, that ain't no Mexican right there, dog. That is not guacamole right there, fucker. That, that's camel or something. I don't know what the fuck. And you know, I, I smell, you know, he's trying to put his luggage in the overhead compartment, but it don't fit. So this fucker starts banging it in there, starts cussing, oh, these mother bitch, I can't. I'm three rows back, dude, I done smoked the joint, I'm cool. I'm like, this fucker's already hostile. He's already starting shit. So I told the flight attendant, excuse me, ma'am, can I sit right there next to him? Is that, that seat available? And she knew what I was doing. She knew I wanted to keep an eye on him. So she was like, yeah, you can sit here. Go ahead, sir. And what like Redbone did, that's what I did, fuckers. I stared at him the whole fucking flight. The whole flight, I swear to God, I was just looking at him like that. Just was... <laughs> He's reading the paper and shit, getting all mad, looking at me like. <laughs> I finally got mad. Mother bitch, why are you staring at me? I'm like. Hey, fucker, I'm looking out the window, bitch. I can't look out the window. Why you nervous? Why you nervous, bitch? Why you nervous? Why you nervous? You know, and I had to sit there so I could take care of everybody in the plane. Because that, that shit will never happen again in New York. You don't understand. That, 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 and y'all did that. Y'all did that. When that shit fell down and everybody was helping each other, y'all showed the whole world, man. So everybody's got y'all's mentality like right now. Like, fuck them. That shit will never happen again. Let a motherfucker jump up with a fucking box cutter on a plane. <laughs> Bitch, I used to work with box cutters, man. I will fuck him up. <laughs> like, that, that'll never happen again. We will never let that shit happen again. And if they bust out with a box cutter, you can go old school. You can take off your belt, like when you're little and that little fat kid is beating you up. You can take your belt off. What's up, bitch? I box cutter that shit, motherfucker. Come on, fucking. And you know, I'm from Houston. I'm from Texas, so I'm gonna have some big old redneck behind me with one of them big old belt buckles. I got your back, Juan. Come on, son of a bitch. It's two of us, motherfucker. What's up? My black friends, my black people, my black friends, I don't know if they'll help. It depends on what you're wearing, fucker. Because if my black friends got on their good shit, they ain't gonna help. I can see my friend, I'll be like, come on, fucker, you gonna help? I can see my friend looking at his belt like, shit. Motherfucker, this Versace. <laughs> I'm still making payments on this motherfucker right here. I hit him with a seatbelt or something. You and the white boy got it, y'all got it, you and the white boy got it. <laughs> and you know white people, they'll jump in, dude. They, they do shit like that. White people are the only ones that do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That shit, that, that's a white thing, you know what I mean? Black people and Mexicans, that, that's a white thing. If you ever saw it, you, you know that's a white thing. Black people and Mexicans, we see crazy bitches in the middle of the street all the time. We drive right around them hoes and keep going. White people wanna stop the van. What's wrong, did he hit you? Did he hit you? 
just fucking get in the business and shit. You know what I wish I had though? That fucking that tape, that ring. You know, I remember that movie, The Ring, that scary little girl. Oh man, cause there's some motherfuckers I really don't like, and I wish I had that tape. I got an uncle that I don't like, man. I take it straight to him. Hey Theo, watch this, fucker. No, just look at it, bitches. I get it tomorrow. Look at it. It's pretty good. Let's check it out. I come back tomorrow and like, hey Theo, did you see the tape? Yeah, I didn't like it, mijo. I didn't like it. The stupid lady combing her hair and ladder. I didn't like it. I'm like, did, did you get the call? Did anybody call you after the tape? <laughs> mijo, you know the phone's cut off right now, mijo. They can't be called out. Like, Fuck. Like, hey, give me my fucking tape. I'm going to go pay your phone bill right now, bitch. I swear to God. This is bullshit. <laughs> fucking tape. I don't like that fucker, man. Hey, man, look, I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story, man. I ain't been, I haven't been to New York in about four years. And last time I was here, man, I met a cool ass chick. Right, cause I was single and she was single. And, you know, I'm kind of old, fuckers. I'm like 37, so, I, you know what I mean? I know I look kind of young, but yeah, that's, that's a good age. Hey, what's up, fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, I, I can't go out with sisters no more. I can't, you, I, I can't, sisters can't handle me. Cause you know, Mexicans, we eat pussy real good, right? Yeah, y'all know that, right? And if you're a black man, I know I don't got some black friends. No, I don't do that shit. Shut up, fucker. <laughs> if, if you're a black man in the year 2004 and you don't eat panocha, fucker, you're, you're gonna get replaced. You're gonna come home one day, your king gonna work. Hold up, dog. I know she home to me, good. You're gonna look in the window, you're gonna see a soccer ball or some shit on the couch? Oh, hell no. I think she ended with a Mexican, dog. But Mexicans, you know, we eat real good. I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't do that. I, I would fuck you up, bro. If I were to take you home and go down on you, I would fuck you up. Tomorrow, you'll want to change your whole life. You'll change your name to Maria Josefina Ramirez. Start wearing prom dresses and shit. And I'll make you take that weave and throw it away. I don't need this shit no more. You fucking love me, man. Hey, New York, thanks for the love, fuckers. My name's Juan Villarreal. Thank you. Yeah.